Hi girls, it's Lorraine Scapelins from PregnancyExercise.co.nz, pre and postnatal exercise and wellness specialist. Now we've had a lot of requests from our Facebook page and from the members site for exercises for your pelvic floor muscles. Now we've gone through in the past that we once we have learned to contract the pelvic floor muscles in isolation, then we need to integrate them with the other core muscle, its best friend, the transverse abdominal muscles. Okay, and we also know that we don't want to keep working in isolation. So the exercises I'm gonna show you are for your core system, which will therefore improve your pelvic floor muscle function. Okay, so we are also gonna focus with the use of a cushion on the pelvic floor muscles just a little bit more. So for any of you who are experiencing any leaking issues, make sure you have seen a women's health physio physiotherapist because that's gonna help and then all of our programs will help improve the pelvic floor muscle function especially the pregnancy, fit to birth, postnatal birth to fit, and then our no more mummy tummy challenge. So once you have mastered your basic pelvic floor activation and transverse abdominal muscles, we put them together and start to work through exercises. And they're the exercises I'm gonna show you today. If you've not gone through the basics, Follow our programs and I will add a couple of the videos also in this blog for you. So you're going to need a cushion. You can use one of those nice squeezy balls, but not many of us have the physiotherapy balls at home, but a cushion works perfectly. And this is just going to increase, hopefully, help you to increase the activation of your pelvic floor muscles. Okay, so we're going to start off now. We want to keep pressure on the cushion the entire time doing these exercises. But what we don't want to see is a rotation of the knees. And when I'm standing up in the squat position, I'll show you that a little bit better. So the first exercise we're going to do is a basic hip bridge, but we're keeping that pressure on, which is going to help you to hopefully feel your pelvic floor muscles a little bit more. So make sure everything's still straight so knees aren't knocking together. And what we're going to do to keep that pressure on is a basic hip bridge. When we lift up, we're exhaling and we're breathing in and letting go coming down. So on the exhale, we think lift up the pelvic floor, transverse abdominals, keep them on as you're exhaling. You can also feel your glutes and then slowly lower down. Now a really good cue when you're doing a hip bridge is to lead with the pubic bone. Okay, so lift up, make sure you can feel you've got those pelvic floor muscles on, and then relax down, and keep the pressure on your cushion for all times. The second exercise we're gonna do, now if you still have diastasis recti abdominal muscle separation, you need to do it. follow our programs, then this exercise is gonna to be too advanced for you, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start in this position, and deep breath in, and then as we exhale, bring the legs in towards you, see, keeping that pressure on, then here, breathe in, and then exhale, place them down, keep the pressure on, also, what I'm not doing is arching my back or flattening my back into the floor. Okay, so ready? Breathe in. Exhale, pelvic floor, TA. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, breathe in. Exhale, pick up. Breathe in. Exhale. Now you can do about eight to 10 reps of both of those exercises. Now I'm gonna show you a squat position that you can do 
on the wall. Okay, so we're still going to use our cushion. We had these actually handmade for us. They're gorgeous. It was a Christmas present. So those of you who don't know, we're actually from, originally from the UK. Okay, so we fold the cushion. Now, we're thinking about perfect posture and technique all the time. And as I mentioned, when you've got a cushion, you need one big enough so you're not doing this. We don't want to put you in that position. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to use the wall as a guide. So I'm quite far back from the wall at the moment. So we need you in this ski squat position. So bottoms untucked, sticking our bottoms out, chest is up, and we're in quite narrow. And all we're going to do is slide our bottom up and down the wall in this position. And what I want you to do, we're going to exhale throughout the squat. So we're going to try and lift up the pelvic floors and keep the pressure on throughout the squat. Okay, so breathe in. Ready? Exhale, lift up, TA, keep the pressure on, and bottom on the wall. Okay, so your back's not going to be on the wall. You're going to be leaning like this. Okay, so it's just a guide. So we stay in that ski squat position, bottom on top, and it's here. Ready? Exhale. That's it, breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. So I'm keeping the pressure on, thinking about the pelvic floor and TA activation throughout the move. Now if you do those three exercises four to five times a week and follow our programs, then your pelvic floor muscle function is definitely going to improve. Also, please make sure that you, if you are experiencing leaking issues, that you do need to see a women's physio therapist alongside following our programs. This will help you achieve optimal function of the pelvic floor muscles. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you visit our website, pregnancyexercise.co.nz, Fit Mums for Life, Pre and Postnatal exercise and wellness specialist.